Hi, this is Apostle Evans, and I'm coming to you from sunny Southern California. Look, you're a Christian and you want to win, but you're determined to win biblically. If that's you, you're in the right place. I'm a Christian first and always. I stick to the word. Winning in life from a biblical perspective is about both temporal and eternal success. It's about living a life that aligns with God's will, values, and teachings. Here are some of the key elements of what it means to win in life, according to the Bible. First of all, your relationship with God. If you don't value a relationship with God, then this message is probably not for you. You know, you have to live a life of faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God because anyone who comes to God must believe that He is and that he's, He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Obedience to God's Word. Winning in life means living in obedience to God's command. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Love and compassion. You have to love others. And the best way is to start loving and serving people. That's key in some way. The greater problem you solve, the greater your rewards. The greater number of people you serve, the greater your rewards. This comes down to two things. Love for others. You know, let's talk about love for others. The Bible emphasizes the importance of love. Jesus said that the greatest commandment is to love God and love your neighbor. 1 Corinthians 13, 13 says, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Now let's talk about serving others. Jesus exemplified a life of service and winning in life means serving others. The Bible says even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. You know, you also have to have moral integrity. Your integrity gives you quality. Integrity guarantees others that you will deliver on your promises, making you trustworthy. This involves two things. The first thing is righteous living. Living a life of integrity, honesty, and righteousness is, is, is a key aspect of biblical success. Then you have to avoid sin. Successful life in God's eyes involves resisting the temptation to sin. You can't live in sin and win. Then number four, there's perseverance and endurance. A quitter never wins and a winner never quits. You know, you have to run a race of faith. May I remind you that we're believers? Therefore, we believe. Our first task is to believe. The Bible often compares a race to life or compares a life to race. You know, in this race, perseverance is the key. If you don't believe, you won't persevere. The Bible says, let us run with patience or perseverance. You know, you have to endure trials. Winning in life means standing firm, even during hardships. You will reap in due season if you don't faint. And then you have to have, this is important, you have to have an eternal perspective coupled with a now in this time perspective. You know, Peter said, Lord, we left all and followed you. What shall we have therefore? This is important. And Jesus said, there's no man that has left his house or brethren or sisters or father or mother, wife, children or land for my sake. Watch this. 
but he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time. Houses, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and land. See, when I was a kid, I ate a candy called Now or Later. So I don't know if they have that anymore. But the misunderstanding that most Christian teaching has now is that it's got to be either now or later. It's actually now and later. Listen to what Jesus said. He shall receive a hundredfold now in this time. Now in this time. And in the life to come, guess what? Eternal life. That's now and later. You know. Now don't get me wrong. Eternal life is our greatest reward. So I live with eternity in mind. You know, the ultimate win is securing eternal life through Jesus Christ. The Bible says this. It says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but what? Have eternal life. Winning in life biblically is about living a life that honors God, serves others, and reflects the character of Christ. It involves prioritizing spiritual growth, moral integrity, and remembering that you can have both temporal success and eternal rewards. Well, that does it for me. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And remember, it really is a sin not to win. So just win.